Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So we have made a jump to our true Now it's not a four skull planet like I said, it is a three and a half skull planet. Uh, I couldn't find a really good four skull planet around. Um, and I did pass up in the command center, there was a, uh, a three and a half skull um, priority mission. Um, but I don't think we were re quite ready for it yet. Um, so, because we could have, like, with these, we could have up to eight fights over a small amount of time, and we'd have to jump in every single time that they asked us to do it. So we'd be basically sitting there waiting for them to say, hey, you need to go ahead and do these missions. So I want to make sure we have enough sea bills for this if we're going to be sitting around repairing mechs and have a couple of extra mechs just sitting in the mech bay just in case we need them. Um, and probably have another pilot. I'm, that's one thing I'm going to look for here first in the beginning of this mission. I meant to do it between episodes, but I didn't do it. So we're going to look for another hey. pilot. Uh, somebody that's a noble. Uh, it's not bad stats. Yes, Listed Navy recruit. Jinxed, yeah. <laughs> harder for this pilot to hit, but also harder to be hit. Small bonus of starting XP. 20% inju injury redu reduction time. It's not bad. Um, Awaiting orders. Fresca. Cautious. Yeah, no. If anything, we would take Awaiting Relentless, order. but I don't think... Uh, yeah, let's just hold off. I want to try and find more pilots with tech, tech skill that we can... Uh, jack up our mech tech a bit. Now, we did finish off the um, the uh, mech bay, mech, third mech bay upgrade. So I went ahead and decided to go for high capacity power conduits. It was only 700,000. We needed to finish that off anyway uh, to be able to get some of the other systems in here. So I figured we'd just go ahead and do that. We had the money for it. Plus, I didn't want to spend too much right away. Uh, it does give us plus two to tech. Uh, it's a 30-day upgrade, whereas taking the last um, thing down here, Machine Shop, only gave us plus one in 15 days. So uh, either or, this is going to give us more over time. So I went this route. Uh, I'll look at some of these other things a little later once we get some more sea bills. But that being said, let's jump into a combat. I didn't upgrade any of the mechs yet uh, with the weapons we picked up last episode. Um, the 14-ton heavy rack, um, five. Um, for the Victor, I'd have to pull off the large VSPL in order to get I'd, I'd jam the weight in, uh, because we'd be adding another five tons of stuff to be able to get it in there. So I got to take something off somewhere, and the VSPL would probably end up having to be downgraded to something else. So I didn't want to do that just yet. We're going to leave this as it is. Those heavy rack fives will be making appearance, probably not right away. Um, I may build a mech around it. Like I said, once we get um, the Warhammer is brought forward. Uh, the Warhammer mark, like the Clan Warhammer 2, might end up running one. I don't know yet. We'll see how it goes. All right. Uh, but we do have them, which is great. So that that's awesome. Anyway, uh, let's go to the command center. And actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's go to barracks. I didn't check the pilots between episodes either, and I should have done that. So Arachne, um, we want piloting, or do we want? That's max evasion. And that's injury resist. Let's go this route. I mean, she's... Let's hold off. We'll use it for gunnery, I think. Uh, and this is Earthquake. We want to go gunnery on with him, I think. For increased range. Beautiful. And focus. Yeah. Um, we were saving... Let's go gunnery. Recall reduction. Training complete. Beautiful. Uh, hopper. Uh, we wanted to go this route, I think. Minimum range penalty. Better tactics. I think so. Training confirmed. He's going to be missile boat boy until the end, I think. For orders. Uh, hot shot. I'm going to bring the uh, guts up to six for him. Training I want to try to go six across the board for our main guys. Awaiting orders. Uh, Queen B, as much as I want to go guts, I think we were saving this for either tactics or gunnery. This is sensor distance, so I want to go, I think I want to go tactics. 
Gunnery is giving us what? I don't think it's giving us just a range increase. An extra 5%. I think I would probably rather go with um, sensor distance. Because she really is a main scout for us. Uh, scramble. Yeah. Now, we're still going to go down the melee line. I want to bring bring her guts up by one. She's kind of jack of all trades right now, but she is still going to go down the melee line. Uh, and up. Sludge doesn't need anything. Yeah. Squire doesn't need anything just yet. We'll leave the experience off these guys for now uh, until we bring them into combat. Okay, so uh, that being said, Command Center, I do know which mission we're taking today. We're going to go ahead and do Smash and Grab. Uh, it's a four and a half skull. It's jumping up a fair bit from what we were doing before, but I think it should be no problem. We're going to be going against the locals, so it's okay, I think. Um, Oregon Coalition, I think we're maxed out with these guys in rep, I think, already, or pretty close. Huh, why are we getting plus zero? Oh, that's the system conflict, right? Right. Anyway, um, so we got to extract some data from a, uh, a location. This is perfect for our main lance. It's going to be an easy one to do. We'll focus fire on the mech that we want the most and then get out of there. Queen B can easily jump in and grab what we need. So we'll go with the main lance. Let's flush out this one. I should really just like swap back and forth when I'm jumping planets and have the second lance go first. But yeah, you know me. All right, let's just do it this way because why would I do anything easy? It's not what I do. Certainly not me. Okay, let's do this. All right, here we go. Enemy core will be in there. Wow, it's all the way over there, huh? Really? We gotta go all the way over there? Okay. System's nominal. My mech's handling the cold just fine. Yeah, so do the rest of us. All right, so we could go up this hill and attack the base. I think probably that's the best thing to do. I'm not sure what to expect. And in worst case scenario, we can just retreat. We can retreat away from there. Now, if I go up that way, I cannot... Wait a minute. How does that work? How did... Oh, because you were... Oh, shit. Really? Really? All right, we got to go around. Ready to get it on. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. All right, guys, I'm gonna. S <laughs> I'm gonna. Well, it cool. screw you. I'm going to uh, move forward, and when we get first detection, I'll cut back in because uh, this I think is going to take a while to get up there. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know when we're there. On the move. Affirmative. Move order confirmed. Aye, aye. Okay, we got detection here. We didn't get very far. What are we spotting? I don't know. Somebody's spotting us. Copy that. I get you. All right, girl. Uh, we gotta find out who that is. Let's get up over here. Um, who is it that's spotting us? Hmm. Let's get in the trees just in case. I have no idea what we're dealing with here. It could be because we're down lower. Receiving you. Man, I got a feeling this trek up the hill is going to be a nightmare. Still quiet, huh? Commander. I'm going to reserve you for a second here. Holding for a 
tactical advantage. They're probably on the other side of the hill. But we'll find out here in a second. I'm gonna move him up. Confirmed. Move him up. Alright, B, order. let's see what we got up here. How far up can we get? We can get pretty far. Let's just get up on top here. Copy that. Okay, not hearing any beeps. Oh, we got a guy right here. Mackie, eh? AC-10, paramedium lasers. Now here's the thing. I could jump in right away and grab the uh, the core that we, that we need to get and jump out. But then they're going to be targeting her the whole time. Right? So what we want to do is we want to make sure we're in position to actually start engaging the enemy. Okay. Clear the way. I'm coming in fast. Tab that Mackie now. 10%. Let's hold off. Um, but they'll be targeting her, and if we need her to, to jump in and out and attack the enemy, the last thing we want is for um, them to all be shooting at her. That's going to be out of range. Standing by. So for now, we'll just hold off. Let's check over here. We'll go. So if you got anything over here. Not hearing any beeps. Alright. Seem to be pretty good here. Should give us an opportunity to at least get up to the ridge here. If we can get up to the ridge and we can command that. Okay, they have, they can't see us now. Beautiful. Full speed, guys. Full speed. Now they can. They must have somebody with really good sensors. Let's hope it's not a raven or something. Uh, you just stay right there. We'll go. Yeah, they know we're coming. Talk to me. At least we know they don't have LRM turrets because they'd be shooting at us. Okay, we got two here. That's the Mackie Emperor. Okay. Aye, aye. See if we can spot anything else. Only two. Oh no, we got a Merkiva. Makaba. Call it a Merkiva because I'm so used to the. Uh, or Makaba, whatever it is. The. Uh, I think I mentioned this before. The Israeli tank. Copy that. Kind of a cool design. Alright, what do we got? 27? Not bad. 19. 24, tandem rockets, LRM-17, pirate. This guy's a junker. Let's just hit this guy a bit. Ready for orders. Let's hope you can get in battle this turn, eh? Or this game. I want to up the core on that so badly, but then I have to downgrade the weapons. Taking minimal damage. Getting pissed off about it too, I bet. Primitive Brutus. I've got your back. Okay, we're getting close here. Affirmative. This avatar just doesn't seem like a missile mech to me. That's the Mackie. Let's hammer this guy. Locked on target. Oh. Sounds like somebody had AMS. Yeah, this avatar doesn't feel like a uh, missile mech, but it's nice to have the uh, LRMs in the arms. The extra bonus to hit. It's kind of nice. I think it also adds extra... Um, yes, come on. extra firing arc too, doesn't it? Or am I mistaken? It's like a 5% or 10% firing, extra firing arc or something. Maybe it's more. Ah, let's just hammer this guy. Standing by. 
I don't even think you're gonna get a shot off this turn, this uh, game, buddy. We may have to build an assault lance with that guy in it. All right, where's that asshole Brutus? He's back there. I can't get to him. Let's just jump over here. Confirm. Shed the heat. Shed the instability. There he is. Barely a strength. I'll break him in two. Commander. Let's break him in two. Can we get a line of sight on these guys? Apparently we can't. Now, do we go off-road or do we stay on the road? I don't think we need to go into the... Uh, can we get down this way? I don't think we can either, can we? We may have to come down here. Well, let's just get up here. Good to go. At least we got some height on them. Alright, what's our chance here? 39? Oh, crying out loud in caps lock. Mackie. 640 armor, huh? 144, 28. Eh, well, let's hit the Mackie again. It's not so bad. Burn through that standard ammo so we can get close and use the other stuff. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that! Aye, aye. Um... Awaiting orders. Ah, screw it. Just in case. <laughs> Let's just get into here. Engaging jump jet. Yeah, we'll hold here. We'll attack these guys at the same time. Because screw them. Here you go. Engaging Enjoy. <laughs> yep, good luck with that. You ain't beating this evasion. <laughs> It's like what, 11, 11 bars? How can I help? It's crazy. Just walk it up here. Roger. Bring that uh, LRM 50 to bear on one of these guys. Where's the Mackie? He backed up for you, didn't he? That's the Emperor. There he is. There you go, buddy. Got something for you. Confirm. Well, thanks for illuminating all your buddies for me. Appreciate that. What's up, boss? Not that hotshot's gonna be able to take advantage of any of that. Double time. Let's go. How about we triple or quadruple time that, buddy? Faster the better. Emperor's new moonwalk. Oh, we can get a direct line of sight on somebody right here. Oh, it's a vehicle. Good to go. Meh, yeah, whatever. Oh god, really? Lock the Mac here, we want to lock this vehicle. The vehicle, because we want to shoot it. Lock. We got direct oh we don't, it's the wrong one. Because of course it is! Alright, let's just shoot this guy. Yeah, 
Yeah, I wonder if those guys can bail out now. There we go. Moving out. Shoot that Brutus. Brutus the beefcake. Hammer him. See ya. Explosion, 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 explosion. Woo! We took a liking to him and blew him up real good. Celebrity farm blow up. It's a, I don't know, I think I mentioned this before, SCTV skit. John, I think it's John Candy and, uh, and uh, Joe Flaherty. Celebrity farm blow up. They bring, they bring celebrities on and then they, they blow them up. Anyway, it was funny at the time. Celebrity farm blow up. May the good Lord take a liking to you and blow you up real soon. Christ, are you actually going to get in the battle this time? We're saving some for you. Boom! How does 50 artillery pieces in your ass make your day? Okay, this is the Emperor. Awesome, Maki. Hammer him! Hammer him. Oh, starting to get through. Punched right through his armor. Starting to get through. Yes, Commander. Lifting off. No point in exploiting you right now. Because you know they're all going to shoot for you. Good to go. All right, buddy. Keep going. <laughs> We're not going to go to all these enemies are dead, so. They're just hiding down there. It's a death sentence for them. Can't imagine what that would be like for a mech pilot. Knowing you're going to die and there's not a damn thing you can do about it, you know? It's like, we need to move out of here, but you can't. It's like, where are you going to go? See ya. Dude, it's a Mackie. What do you mean, what a waste? Let's get into battle again. Get into battle. Get her sensors on there. We saved you some scraps, buddy. Too bad you can't actually get to them until the next turn or the turn after that. The hell. Yes, Commander. I wish we could drop you in like a... Uh, let's go after um, this guy. I wish we could drop you in like a Jaeger. Get some choppers and fly you up there. I uh, probably sort of sh should have switched to Artemis on this guy, but does it really matter? Does it really matter? Oh my God, this emperor is going to be in pain here. There you go, buddy. Ninety-five. Okay, we're going to warlord this. Let's see if we can take him down in one. Sh well, we can't take him there in one shot. Let's just go for the leg. Why not? I think we've got emperor pieces. Or we could just blow them up. That works too. Mech destroyed. I said leg him. Leg. Never mind. I mean, we could test out one of those rack fives on on uh, that guy. Just pull off the. Uh, we could just pull off the um, snub nose for a, for a turn or so, or a match or so, and see how it goes. Target. 
But I mean, once again, what's the point? I mean, we don't need to engage here, but why not? Because we're good like that. Let's give him the barrage. We'll go. Don't miss, please. Just don't miss. Yeah, we're getting better at not hitting ourselves. There we go. Vehicle frag. Right, let's go home. Mission successful. All right, well, 111,000. I wasn't going to do two missions this episode, but I think we're going to do it because that one kind of blew. I was hoping for something good at four and a half skulls, but what can you... I mean, what do you expect against the locals, I guess? All right, we could take three Mackie pieces. I mean, honestly, what else? <laughs> well, there's the 300 core, I guess. Fire control system, multi-track, which I think we've already got. Yeah. Primitive. Like, there's nothing... Oh, well, more incendiary ammo. It just seems to me like the Mackie is like... Sorry, I'm counter missiles. It's one of those things where it's like, if you get it, yeah, it's got one ballistic and three laser hard points. I mean, we could make it a joke mech and put a, the heavy rack five on it and a large VSPL or something. I mean... I don't know. It's a hundred. <laughs> I don't know. It's one of those things that if we get pieces of it, great, we'll assemble it. But I don't think it's one of those things we want to go for. If you know what I mean? Um, how much is this worth? 200,000? Yeah. Let's grab the incendiary ammo. I know it's crazy, but... Got a multi-track. How much is this core worth? Yeah, we'll go for these, and we'll we'll go for the C bills. We I think we need more. We think we need that more than we need a Mackie. Although I bet you it's cheap to put together, because everything's primitive on it, right? But we'll take this and see what happens. All right, no mech parts. AC five pirate. We're not going to do a single shot AC five for that that weight. That can go. Now we do have PPCs already, uh, but we have better better weapons than those. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell, sell. Going to hang on to this because I think we're going to look at putting a mortar into action again at some point. I want to be able to have some ammo for it. So let's keep that. We don't need the half load of that. So, yeah, let's do another mission. All right, like no damage. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, um... Plus the fact that we got the three mech bays running now. It's just the day for the mechs to be back. It takes more time for our pilots to get back than our uh, mechs. So we have to work on getting our med uh, medical up a little higher here, I think. Okay, so command center. Now I think there's a mission here against the Torians, if I'm not mistaken. Aggressive intrusion. Battle in the polar region. Gage maneuvers on the... Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to take this one. Against Torians, it's... Uh, Nice skulls, nice like, nice everything. So it should be a nice challenging mission. Let's go ahead and take this one. Grab this. Torians hate us, but whatever. All right, take our second lance. Okay, uh, Victor and Archer and these two guys. And we want Scramble, Earthquake, Focus, and Swifty. And let's go. I think I probably want to... You know what? Now, I think Focus and Swift are good on the Bushwhackers. We'll leave Earthquake on the Archer. Now, the Archer doesn't seem like it's perfect for him. Probably he'll get, end up getting the Victor when Scramble gets a good melee mech. Once we get the Mortis. I don't know. we got to do something about the Mortis. But, yeah, we'll go this route. Yep, we know. Alrighty, hunting an enemy lance. Well, looks like it's only one. Whoa, we haven't been on this map in a while. Or have we? Lead the way, Merc. Alright, what do we got with us here? A quick draw. Uh, what else do we have here? 
Roughneck. So we got some elk, two quick draws, and a what's this guy? I have no idea. Wait, two roughnecks? No. Centurion. Okay. All right. Well. Wait a second. Oh, never mind. I thought this dotted line was the edge of the map. I'm like, what? All right, I know where we are. All right, let's take this hill over here. If our allies would get the hell out of the way. On my way. Heading out. Let's hope they move out of the way. No need to tell me twice. I want this hill over here. Not a lot of trees. A little bit over here. That ridge over there is going to cause a problem up here at the top. They can go left and right around it. If they can come up over this way, they can come up over this way, which most likely they will come this way probably. Or if they sit behind it, it's going to be an issue. We'll have to go chase them. Don't really want to chase them. This would be better for the command lance, I think. All right, what are you guys doing? All right, that's all right. Confirmed. Confirmed. Affirmative. You betcha. Bing. A little bit of a teleport there. All right. Um, Somebody's got sensors on. Sure as hell ain't me. Got it. Max speed, no oh. shooting. We do now though. They are coming around. An assassin. Thunderbolt, okay. I think we've got Thunderbolt pieces. I think we got like one. But I think it's an old Thunderbolt. Which is fine. I mean if we pick up three Thunderbolt pieces here. We need to start thinking about a third lance now, I think. Although I'm contemplating, I mean, if the content st keeps staying this way, I'm contemplating, like, not, like, having an assault lance, a medium lance, and a heavy lance. I'm thinking about, like, mix and matching them. Yeah. So, like, one assault mech with, you know, maybe a heavy and a couple of mediums or something like that per lance. Just to give it some, just to give it some, um, competition, you know? Because we really haven't encountered anything that's been... There's been a couple missions that have been, you know, iffy. But we've made out pretty well on pretty much everything. Even that four and a half skull that we just took, it, it was like... like for order. I mean, I guess it's like local government or Torians. We should probably be jumping more into uh, oh, where um, the Capellan Confederation is. I think that's probably where we should go. All right, let's stay away from that Centurion. What's up, boss? Sometimes an the only good ally is a dead ally. Sometimes. Confirmed. All right, 17 on Thunderbolt. We'll take it. Locked on. What was that? Clint or something? Whitworth. Yeah, these guys don't have much. Why we have extra guys with us, I don't know. What's this? Merlin? Fought a Merlin before. Yeah, we have to burn these guys fast. Let's go. Yes, Commander. Can you just steamroll these guys, please? 
Position confirmed. All right, I see what we got here. Oh. Those aren't terrier colors on the... Yeah, I noticed that. Joint Hansian and Torian operation. Withdraw, you'll be destroyed. Well. Well, that's fine. Where's the Torians? Well, this is the Torian here. Uh, whatever. Doesn't matter, they're all gonna die. <laughs> Alright, let's just hammer this guy. See ya. Target neutralized. That's what we think about your frickin' ultimatum. You give us ultimatum, this is what you get. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so there's another lance up there somewhere. Come on, guys. Receiving you. Let's get this party started right. Oh, there we got another guy back here. Hunchback, okay. Let's go with LK. I'm gonna throw up the MRM. Let's get some damage going on this guy. Yeah, that handheld MRM is nice. It just kind of gives that a little extra boost in damage, you know? The fact that we've only got to carry one ton of ammo. Waiting on you, Commander. I mean, we've only got one ton of ammo to, to like, space-wise to stick in there, but it's still only one ton, you know? Going turbo. Now, is that the MRM? What is that in range there? It is, too. Let's just go with Apollo. Yeah, it's not bad. We'll take that. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Yeah, highly unlikely. I'm listening. Highly unlikely, kid. All right, let's right. move over here. I wish they had a better model for this Victor, but whatever. I'm sure they'll get to it at some point. Uh, let's just uh, shred this guy. Look at the chance to hit on this thing. On it, firing it all. Yep, that uh, those arm modifiers, great change for the Victor. Plus we got that, um, I think it's the long range um, component for the uh, um, advanced fire control computer. So it gives us another plus two to hit from long range. Which is beautiful for that, Matt, because it's so slow, right? Oh, we could have gone without, without this extra lance. Alright. I think my next series, I'm going to turn that off. Moving. Mm -hmm. Having the support lances. Just see how it goes. Come on. Wow, look at the chant. Look at this. It's crazy. Missed though. Oh, we got a head hit on him. That's nice. What can I do for you? Uh, you can close because you can't hit a goddamn thing from where you are. Pedal to the metal. Let's get that Merlon. Keep shooting this guy, please. Right, Commander. Yeah, that heavy MRM. Even the chances to hit with that at that range is nice. Whoop, see ya. Should have run when you had the Once we get a weapon mount for that arm. That's going to be crazy good damage. Uh, I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to move. I mean, I could just stay there and shoot, but... I think we're going to have to chase down the, re re the uh, remnants of these guys, so... I'm going to move forward. Yeah. No joy. No joy! Ooh. 
He can speak. He can speak. So I pulled the remainder of the jump jets off my mechs, so other than the uh, Burkut, no one can jump. We're all walking now. We needed them earlier on, but well, I'm noticing now that this, they're not really... We don't really need them. Although, if I do go with a um, the three different lance setups where it's... Uh, let's swap out. Go back to standard. Uh, Thunderbolt? Or do we want to go after this guy? This guy, I think. Ooh, he's got X-Pulses. Beautiful! Light AC-20 Precision. I wonder what that is. That's interesting. Yeah, so if we do go with the, uh, like, you know, the Assault Heavy 2 Mediums per Lance or something like that, then definitely I'll, I'll have one mech that's jump capable. Load it down with all the ECM gear we can, make a jump as far as possible. Because that Burkut is, is, I mean, it's really proving its its value. Yeah, we're going to have to chase these guys down. I can still remember my hockey coach. I can still hear him in the back of my head. Don't chase! Don't chase! We used to chase... T the forwards would chase the, uh... The enemy. The enemy. <laughs> the other team. I guess you could consider them the enemy. But <laughs> the forwards would chase the other team in their end and it would be like, Don't chase! Don't chase! Let them make their play and go after the guy. Don't run around like you're... Got a, like a chicken with your head cut off. All you do is tire yourself out and get yourself out of position. What's up, Commander? Um, I think. Oh, we can see this guy. That's nice. No problem. Let's get that goss over here, buddy. A little lower than him, but we'll take that. That's fine. Seventy-one percent. Maybe we take his head clean off. No, everything hit. That's beautiful. I'm going to send both of my uh, I hear ya. bushwhackers. We're going through the geothermal. I get that, but I don't care. We're going this way. Going turbo. We're running cool enough. We can run through geothermal and not worry about it. 64 with the Apollo, man. Look at that. Commencing Let's take this guy's run. arm. Nope. Not today. Alright. That's fine. Yeah, you keep yourself visual. I just want to take your head off. You don't mind, do you? You don't mind if I take your head off, do you? Yeah. Keep pushing him, girl. I'm telling it. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to dial this back to one. So we don't jam before we crest the hill. Take this. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it hits too. Nice. Yep, that Ultra 10 has been a nice upgrade to the LBX. LBX is nice for the crits, but that uh, Ultra has been doing really well. Orders. Been hitting a fair bit, which is really nice. Alright, we don't have... Oh, we could go this way. We don't have any artillery, so let's just uh, get a direct line of sight on this guy. Yeah, it's not bad. 30%. Let's go with LK. And we'll fire. On it. Yeah, okay. Take it. Man, that Centurion's running really hot. So that's the Hunchback. Is there two Hunch... Or just one Hunchback or two? I'll have to take stock here in a second and find out what we're up against. We got the Whitworth... Hunchback. Is this another hunch? No, this is a... That's a stalker! <gasps> Don't we have stalker parts? I think we've got like one stalker part or something? We know what we're going after then. That's one mech I haven't had in uh, any of my series. Is a stalker. 
I did in my very f initial playthrough of Battletech. I picked up a Stalker and made it an LRM boat. I had catapults as LRM boats too. Okay, a hopper. So we've got one, two, three. So there should be Hunchback, Stalker, Grasshopper, Whitworth, Thunderbolt, and there's one more somewhere. Commander. Commander. I'll make him dead. On the move. A little bit of height. Yeah, let's just keep blasting this side. Nice one. What can I do for you? Moving to position. Just keep shooting the same side, buddy. 70% with that Apollo. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, damage his leg badly. Lost evasive. We might go after him again, but I think that quick draw has pretty much committed himself to die, so. Waiting for orders. Let's maybe uh, make his wish come true. Oh, we got a guy up over here in the flank. A Bessie. Oh, well, yeah. Terrified. Really terrified. Okay, I'm going to use the LK on this guy. I want to get as much damage as possible early on for, for him. Roger. Nice. I'm out of LRM. That's fine. We got lots more. Look at this Centurion down here. How can you overheat in a, in a snow biome, buddy? That's some bad sinking. That's all I got to say. You take care of that Bessie for me, man. I don't I don't feel like going to fight that thing. Right here. Mm -hmm. Just seems like a waste of time. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll run through this next turn. Look at this chance to hit. We're even lower. Like oh, man. Alright, hammer him. Large one hit. Alright, we're gonna switch back to the ultra again next turn. That should have dropped enough recoil, I think. We got lots of recoil reduction on that on that mech, but it can still jam. Like I think it's three recoil per one shot, so if you're using two shots, it's six recoil. Which I think we've got one recoil reduction for the pilot, one for the mech, one for the shoulder, and one for the fire control system, so it's four. Which isn't bad. Well, these guys have decided they want to die, so let's grant them their uh, let's grant them their um, their Disney wish. Oh yeah, see, no, scramble don't play that. Scramble don't play that. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, Swifty, stay on this guy's flank. Let's give him the MRM. MRM Nightmare, here it comes. Small VSPL's in range now. There it is. Beautiful. And stay down. That's small VSPL, man. 300 meters is pretty good for a 2 ton 50 damage weapon at 19 heat. That's just insane. Like, could you imagine if we had, like, a bunch of those and we could mount them on the, um... On the Burkut, the backstabbing mech potential of that would be insane. Let's close a little bit. Let's get the easy ERs a little closer. Goss rifle is going to be good pretty much wherever we are. But we'll get a little closer here for the ERs. Yeah. Man, this second lance is performing really well now. I mean, the archer, I, th I think, is probably still the weak link. We can get some better ammo for this thing. On the move. I think it'll be it'll definitely be worthwhile. We can get some arrow, some incendiary. We got some incendiary now, but you know, Roger still that. though. Look at that. 
critical hit, Commander. There's pieces of the mech falling down the hill here. Oh, now you're panicked. All right, we're not going to switch to the Ultra this turn. We'll wait till next turn, because there's no point with this guy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're going to find that core half a mile away. <laughs> it probably still hasn't landed. It's like bouncing, all, bouncing along over here somewhere. Oh, that's just painful. Yeah, I think the one thing they got to work on with the AI is figuring out how to get past some of these hills. Because I've noticed that, you know, you put a, uh, like a big hill in front of a mech and doesn't know which what to do, really. I mean, the AI is still far superior to what it used to be. But the assault should really be moving forward, not trying to flank. The Whitworth should have been flanking. Kind of like the Bessie is, I guess, but I don't know. Because now we're going to round this hill and get around behind that Stalker. Not that I want to, because I, I, I don't want to be shooting it, it Commander. on the front. I want to shoot it in the side. No, shooting, just running. no, no, we got some shooting here. This Whitworth's got to go. Wow. Let's get the dead fire going. Nice. It's been a while since we've been able to use the dead fire. Right here. Mm -hmm. Can you make it uh, one whit worth less, please? Oh, the AC's jammed. That figures. Here we go. Ooh. Both hit. I think I hit something special there. Yep. Yeah. What can I do you for? Full speed. What can I do for you? You know, full speed. Got to get over here. It's probably a good thing that heavy MRM's not indirect. That would be crazy. Oh, it's nice that they use the commando model for the Wetworth. To me, the Whitworth and the Command are kind of similar arms and stuff. I mean, Whitworth's a little taller. It's kind of got that weird helmet-looking thing on it. But, not bad. Not a bad choice. I hear you. Uh, how far can you get? As far as you can, buddy. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Gonna need some pinpoint shots on this Stalker. I wanna try and take the legs. See, now is the time. I wish I had incendiary ammo, because I'd be lobbing incendiary in the thing, hoping the pilot would eventually bail out. Alright, we need to kill this Whitworth, and we need to kill this uh, Hunchback, so... Yes, Commander. Sit still. Just hammer this guy. I'm gonna leave him to you. We're going to get the victor on that hunchback. Commander. All right, let's see if we can start pulling. Well, that's not a very good look. Here we go. That's better. Location confirmed. Is our ultra back? It is. Let's see if we can start. Um, what's our chance to hit here? Actually, pretty good. Because I want these uh, X pulses. So we're going to go after this guy's legs. Going to ultra it up as well. Go for his legs. Alright, we've got two hits on. Not bad. Not bad. Yep, thanks for showing up. E for effort. S for shit effort. That should have been a melee attack. If you're gonna fight, there's no point in doing that. You gotta close with a with an archer melee him. 
I know melee, like the archers got those battle fists or whatever. I think they've got a bonus melee fist on them, but like still, Ready for orders. you're not going to do anything from there. There's just no point. No point. All right, here comes the rest of the dead fire. Taking the shot. Who'd have thought though, this archer was that is the crappy old archer, right? And it's still going. The firepower is actually quite good, you know. I'm, I'm kind of glad we were able to like keep it in the in the rotation here. Yeah, let's go for that leg again. I'm gonna go ultra on it. Damn it! That X pulse though. At least it's hitting. Receiving you. Hi focus. Let's do some focused fire on this guy. Consider it done. We got lots of uh resolve here, so let's go after his leg. Oh, come on. It's 75%. Really? Really? Waiting on you, Commander. Nothing, huh? Alright, well, let's get over the hill. Metal the metal. Just get over the hill, buddy. Alright, well... That stalker's still trying to... I don't know what it's doing. Like, I can understand it if he's trying to escape the map, but he can't escape, so I don't know what he's doing. He's dragging the fight out. It's all he's doing. Come on. I hear you. Can you get beside him? Oh, you can. Go in turbo. But you can also see that Bessie, too. It's really great chances on him. What's he got left here? Not much. Uh, I mean, probably better off doing this. Uh, this will probably wreck it really bad. Well, let's just go. Do it. Come on, bail out. It's only unsettled, huh? He's got four mechs trying to rip his legs off, and he's just... Ah, I'm only a little bit unsettled. I can handle it. Wow. He got my he got my observer on the hill over here. Damn it. Ready for order. That guy was a friend of my wife. How the hell am I gonna explain it to her now? Oof. That'll shred him. <sighs> Screw it. That might give us the ability to pull the other leg here. Did we hit the tor- I don't know if we hit the torso or the- I thought we hit the- I think we hit the torso. I don't think we hit the leg. No, we got the leg. Okay, that's good. Commander. Moving out. Let's target that Bessie. Let's not soften the stalker up yet. All right. Yeah. Let's see if we can pull this leg here now. Well, how much does it got? Hundred and some odd. Leave this off. Let's go with both of those and hope we get it. Pulling the trigger. Mm -hmm. That looked close, but not quite. All right. Going 
good to go. What did I do to the camera? Where am I? Okay. Sorry, guys. You know how bad I am at this. All right, moving in here. 20 points left. Three chances. Should take it. There we go. Oh, we got a head hit on him, too. What can I do for you? I want that Bessie dead. Speed, no shooting. I want the Bessie dead. You heard me. 75. Look at this. Chance to hit is just crazy. All weapons are go. Yeah, critical hit. Yeah, baby. At least he's fighting. At least he's fighting. I'm listening. Affirmative. Getting close. Get some jamming going on him. Not if we jam it. Good to go. Ah, space balls. What a great movie. There goes the right leg. Have a seat, buddy. Well, isn't that special? Was that injury ignored? So I guess he's got a uh, one of those cockpits thingies. Okay. Waiting on you, Commander. Shit! It's all back shots. <sighs> Stalker goes on what? Fifteen. I want him to turn around. I don't want to be shooting him in the back. We need parts, guys. We need parts. Parts is parts. Okay, Quakey. Ready for orders. Uh, let's see if we can finish off this Bessie with some LRMs. Let's go with the torso. Locked on target. We won't kill him, but why do I even talk sometimes? You won't kill him. Okay. <laughs> He's like, damn you. We damn you I won't kill him. Prove you wrong. Maybe next time you'll trust me. I'm a killing machine. You're just pissing me off now. Ha! Send me a real opponent. Don't. Yeah, see, that kind of... I hear you. Those kind of comments, we just don't need those, okay? That's how right, we die. Commander. That's how we die. All right, we got lots of OP here. So let's start using it up. All right, leg, going for this one first. Here it comes. 50% with the Apollo, that's pretty good. All right, not bad. Good start. All out of short range missiles, Commander. You got the incendiary right, still, yeah. so just relax. Mm -hmm. Need to get some more Apollo. Heavy MRM, man. We gotta find some more. It's dead, deadly to go against, though. We can find a couple of urban mechs. Here goes ooh, ooh, oh! Was that leg? It's leg destroyed. Beautiful. We've got a gas rifle and some uh, ERs coming up on the next leg. Have a seat, buddy. Beautiful. Orders. Okay, we can't get too close. Let's get up a little higher, though. I want the goddess rifle to keep it its maximum chance to hit. Look at this thing. Go after here. Here it comes. Alright, three hits. Nice. Nice. Is that friggin' thing still overheating? The Centurion? Jesus. Yeah. Alright, can we take that leg, do you think? We were able to do it last time. 104 and 80, eh? Uh, let's not go too crazy. 
Whoa, I don't know if we stripped all the armor off it or not. I don't think I don't know if we hit the leg. Don't know. Yeah, you know, people have said I, I should I could play with the, the damage indicators, but I do kind of like not having them up. Okay, we did strip the armor off the leg. It's good to go. Because it's it's just unpredictability. You'd never know 100% where you're hitting sometimes, right? So, all right, let's just go after this leg. All right, we penned it. Yeah, they're gonna blow it up on me, those fuckers. Waiting for orders. Full speed, no target. Let's get the clustering bonus on here. We didn't even hit the leg last time. Crying out loud. Target acquired. Bail out, bail out, bail out. Damn it. What can I do for you? You know what needs to be done. Fifty-six. Oh, okay, we're out of I'm going to leave this off. It's jammed anyway, but I'm going to leave it off because we could just wreck him if we don't. God damn it. Fucking spread it around. Spread it around. Spread the joy to everybody. Let's hit all the locations before we destroy them. If you're going to hit anything, shoot him in the head. Okay, who's first? Scramble? No, Swifty. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay. Let's do this. Let's not friggin' blow him up, though. Fingers crossed. Let's just fire. Don't know why I bother sometimes. Look at this. Man, we're going to blow him up. 56. Got to leave that off. Sure. At least he's panicking. What do you think, buddy? Think you can do it for me? Offensive push. This leg. Still, we still haven't hit it. I'm not going to use these because that's probably going to be a kill shot, but this might be enough. I think we hit for four points. Why am I messing around with this guy? Still nothing. Fuck it. Fire it all. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, it's just so painful. Guys, come on. It's almost like they don't perform well unless they're under fire. Like, more fire than that, not just a couple shots. Yeah, well, at least he didn't move his turn. You know what you need to do. We've got to OP this too. And we get so much resolve per turn. Let's get hope we, let's hope we get lucky. Tell me what to shoot. <sighs> if those guys get up here and kill him, I'm gonna be so angry. Okay. It's got 20 points. Let's leave this off. Go after the leg. Hopefully we just, we just need one hit. Roger that. that should do it. Here it is. Oh, nice. That was so close there at the end. Mission successful. Beautiful. All right. 464,000. I don't know how much we took in damage. So probably around 50,000, I think. Took a bunch of damage there at the end trying to get that last guy. Uh, let's see what we got here. Hunchbacks, stalker parts. I thought we had a stalker part. Not the 4P. I'm going to grab those three. Now, I know it's not the best mech in the world. But I'm going to grab those three. 
because I think we got a different light AC-22. 80 damage for 10 times. What? 300 meters, though. One evasion pips ignored. Recoil of two. 15% jam chance mitigated by gunnery. That's pretty damn good. That's a pretty damn good AC. Should I just leave out the stalkers and just go for the gear? We got so many mechs right now that we haven't assembled yet. As much as I want the stalker. I hate to say that, but as much as I want... Does this use just light AC ammo or uses AC-20 ammo? Let's grab that. The medium X-Pulse is all, always a win. This is actually kind of cool too. Small X-Pulse, 10 heat, 300 meters, 35 damage. It's pretty good. I'm going to drop that in there for now just to see what else we have down here. Cockpit voice for initiative. Um, cores, prototype double heat sink kit. What was that on? Probably the hunchback. We don't have any in stock right now. Stealth X. What the hell? Why is this white? One ton carrying capacity. 80% sensor stealth signature reduction with one charges multiplier. Hard to hit by one at medium, two at long, three at extreme. Minus 10% sensor signature when active. Sensor stealth when activated. Interesting. Don't think it's as good as the stuff we already have. Now there's some swarm ammo. Yeah, I don't know. Retractable blade. We already have one on the uh, mortis, so we don't need another one. Uh, prototype double heatsink kit, maybe? Can't go wrong with that. Alright, let's roll the dice and see what we get here. I think that's probably good. Is there AC-20? Oh, we can always buy it. There's no, there's no ammo down here, but we can always buy AC-20 ammo. I don't know if we have any in stock. I think I sold all of my standard AC-20 ammo because we weren't using it, and there's no point in having it and paying for it every month, but AC-20 is easy to buy. Okay, Assassin, Cattle Matcher, and Hunchback part. All right. Well, it's the 4X, so, I mean, if we can get another part with this guy, we can get some good gear off him. All right, we don't need this. Don't need these. We've already got two PPCs. We don't need another one. SRM6s can go. The armored cowl can go because we've got a plus, double plus one, I think. Uh, heavy jump jets. We've got three. Going to hang on to that as a backup. Swarm ammo is nice. SRM incendiary, we've got four we can get rid of now. Do we have any swarm? We've got one. Okay, so that's not bad. All right, let's continue. All right, 50,000. Yeah, that's about what I expected. It's that stupid last me not moving and shooting, but whatever. All right, so I think I'm going to try 3.6 mil, eh? I think we're going to try and jump out of here. Uh, let's have a look at the map here real quick. Because there's nothing for us here. We're not going to get anything good. So we're going to jump close to um, Capellans, I think. Like right on the border. We'll try and find some. Like there's not. I did look here earlier. There wasn't a lot of high skull planets. I mean, three might be okay. We can find a three and a half. That would be nice. That's four and a half. Minky. Weren't we there before? Maybe not. It's 27 days. I don't want to spend that much time. But we'll find a place around here. That's not in the Capella Confederation, but right on the border. There's four skull roll us 27 days, though. Uh, we'll find one of us right on the border. Um, so at least we're fighting the Capellans. Or, like, I mean, here's great because it's a chance to get everybody, right? Torians, Capellans, Davians. We've got Pirates and Organ Coalition. Um, it's 27. I mean, it's a month. Yeah, I might go here. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out between episodes. I'll make the jump. 
we'll head over there um, see what we can do and also have a look at the loadouts of these guys and see if there's anything we can add on the way there um, I don't know I don't I don't think we'll change anything right away um, but I may look at bringing one of the mechs forward maybe the um, Warhammer 2C we got 27 days to kill I might bring that forward and see how we can load it out and if we got some good stuff to load it out with uh, I may pull the dervish out of commission uh, I know it's sad to see it get well where I'm not going to get rid of it I'll keep it but I'll pull it out of commission and take the uh, clan LRMs and drop them into the avatar to increase the uh, capability of that but we'll see how it goes I don't know well, I'll see what I'm going to do all right, but I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.